Welcome back to Prospect of the Week. Today, we got a great one, Ashton Genty. He just put up 300 plus yards and six touchdowns in one single game to kick off college football in week one. And we got a lot to talk about today, so let's go through this agenda. Today, let's talk about Ashton's background, his high school recruiting background, how many stars he had, and what he was looking like as a high school prospect. Next, we'll talk about his stats in his first two years of college football. Following that, we'll talk about him as a player. What are his superpowers? What makes him such a good football player? And then what teams could really use Ashton on their roster? Let's waste zero time and get straight into it. Let's take it back to the beginning as a very young prospect Ashton Genty was playing all the way in Italy while he did dominate he would send his tape to college coaches and he would tell everybody that these college coaches didn't know how to treat his tape because obviously he's a great player but how good is his competition but eventually to solve this problem Ashton eventually ended up in Frisco Texas where he would play for Lone Star High School Genty was a four-star prospect in the 29th running back ranked out of his class Genty would end up committing to Boise State where he still is now and that was a huge signing at the time for the school because a lot of four stars don't quite roll through Boise State in Genty's freshman year at Boise State he would finish with just under a thousand yards and seven touchdowns on the season very very good year for a freshman following up with the sophomore year last year this is where he broke out Genty would finish with 1900 yards from scrimmage and 19 touchdowns from scrimmage as well an absolute monster year for the running back and now we are in 2024 Ashton Genty's junior season and clearly nothing has changed he is still as good as a running back as he was last year in his first game he had 20 carries 267 yards and then he had six touchdowns in his first game alone that is almost what he had his entire freshman season now that we've talked about ash and genty's background let's talk about him as a football player what are his superpowers that make him such a good running back let's talk about ash and genty's first superpower his lateral quickness agility and you can't forget the speed the trifecta, he does it all. This guy glides across the football field. No one can get their hands on him, and even if he does, he's got the contact balance to run through those arm tackles. Genty's second superpower on my list is going to be his field vision. He sees the field extremely well. He knows how to set up defenders to make them miss, and more importantly, he knows how to find the weakness of the defense when he's running the ball. He is an expert at finding cutback lanes, and this paired with his first superpower, that lateral agility and speed, just makes him a huge X factor of a player if he finds the space, forget about it. You're not going to catch him. He's going to exploit your defense in every way possible. Ashton's final superpower on my list is going to be his ability as a pass catcher. He's got great hands, runs great routes, and he's played a lot of receiver in high school as well. So you can really see it translate onto the field when he's out there running routes and making plays. Now that we've talked about Ashton Genty as a player, let's talk about what teams really need him on his roster and what would be good fits onto these teams. My first team on this list is going to be the Cincinnati Bengals. They've had Joe Mixon for a number of years, but he has departed all the way to Houston and Zach Moss is in the building who is a very solid running back but not quite the player Genty is. Genty would make an instant impact on this team and is a weapon they could use in the run game for sure as well and if you need him on third down he can also catch the ball. The only question mark in Genty's game that wouldn't make him a perfect fit for this can he pass block effectively against really tough defenders? We'll find out when he makes an NFL roster, but he would be a great fit for the Cincinnati Bengals. My second team on this list is going to be the Washington Commanders. Currently, they have a committee of Brian Robinson and Eckler, and of course, can't forget Antonio Gibson, but they don't have an it factor type guy. This is what Genty could provide to this team. I think he's a true third down, all down back for this squad. With a new quarterback in the building in Jaden Daniels, you want to support him as much as possible. What better way to support Daniels than with a dynamic running back that takes pressure off of Daniels and puts it on Genty? That is a win-win in my book. That is why I like him on the Commanders. And then finally, I have the New Orleans Saints. Now, they do have Kamara, Kendra Miller, Jamal Williams, but Kamara would teach Genty a lot of good things. He is an experienced veteran back, and they play similar play styles. I think it's a very good segue into a great career for Ashton Genty. That is why I like the destination of New Orleans. I think it'd be a very good mentorship scenario for Ashton Genty. Thank you guys for watching this far in the video. If you did, please drop a like because it helps me out a ton. Last week, we covered Luther Burden, and today we covered Ashton Genty. And then next week, who's it going to be? Comment down below if you have somebody you want me to cover. Whatever y'all want to see, I'll make it for you guys. Drop it down below. Hope you guys have a great day. Appreciate you all. Peace.